Hello everyone, so this is a project that I've been working on and it's a custom admin system. So this is like calls admin, HD admin, all of that stuff. And it's been very complicated and it has so many cool features that I just want to show. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so we're inside the game, but my graphics is a little too high. There you go, <laughs> that's better. So here you have a button, which this is um, very alpha stage, you know. And then you can insert your command here. So let's do slash. No, 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 no. This is not a slash. Let's do colon kill me. And it's gonna ask me, do you want to do this? Bloody, bloody, blah. Don't remind me again. Yes. And as you can see, it kills me. So this is one of the commands, and it has a privilege system. So you can have creator privilege, or you can just be a VIP member. And depending on your privilege level, you may not have access to certain commands. So we can also do print high, which these uh, quotation marks mean it's a string. And if you then open up the output, as you can see, it prints as high. Now, something that I absolutely love about the system is that you can repeat a certain argument. So this uh, high right here is actually an argument of this command or function or whatever you want to call it. And if we then do these sort of arrows around the argument and then to the right of it put a number, then this will print this argument specifically three times. Now, it should, yeah, as you can see, it printed it three times. Now, it has a bit of a cooldown of one second. That's because I set the cooldown to be one second. But if I remove the cooldown of the command, then it will print three of those highs simultaneously and it will be instantaneous. Okay, so next up we have damage me, which has two arguments. So as you can see, I damage myself 50. Uh, a player has 100 health, so this will be half my health. Now I'm regenerating, but that doesn't matter. We also have fling, so I can fling myself, which is pretty funny. And repeating this will be um, horrendous. So you're gonna fly if you fling yourself with uh, a repeat loop of 999. So it has a bit of a cooldown, so you will just <laughs> go in every single direction possible. Whee! Yeah, I'm gonna die a lot. So you can't really stop a command if you're already getting flung, which is pretty annoying, but oh well, just get used to it, I guess. I may add it in the future if I want to. Like, I still have to add uh, millions of commands. This is like the alpha, the beta, so the main functionality is there. It's just that I haven't really added that many functions yet. I'm just gonna go and reset the game real quickly so we can try out the few other commands. Alright, we're back in the game. What other commands do I have? Well, I have teleport, which teleports you to a position. So first we have to give the argument of who we want to teleport. So if I do my display name, which also works, so it like finds a player with this display name. Oh, by the way, you also have type checking, which uh, you can do stuff like this. So it will know what kind of type you mean with this. If you didn't put this in, then the system would have to guess that this is a display name and not a username or whatever. Um, we can also say it's a number, which obviously isn't true, but if you were to do this for example, then it would turn it into a string, but if you then type check it with a number, it will turn it back into a number. Anyway, let's teleport me to a vector tree dot new. Yes, we can use this. This is amazing. So we can use Roblox's libraries if we don't put it in strings, obviously, else it will just try to teleport me to a string location, which that doesn't work. So here we can put in our vector tree, which consists out of numbers. 5,4,2, that should be fine. So if I do uh, this and I walk far away from the checkpoint and then enter, oh, <laughs> what is this? Unable to cast instance to in 64. Okay, it works, yes, that's great. All right, so yeah, I fixed it. It took a little bit of work. Um, I don't really care to be honest. So as you can see, it teleports me. So. Um, if I do my display name, it should work. Yes! That's amazing! Okay, so I can also do my username, or part of my username. There we go! That's so cool! If you want more Roblox Studio videos like this, then subscribe. I still have to make error messages that like pop up on your screen if you put in the commands wrong and recommendations and the aesthetics of it as well because currently it looks kind of boring i want to add like a ui with uh, band lists and stuff but that will come later for the time being 
This is my admin system. So it's just called Alan's admin system at the moment. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Probably just Alan's admin system. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Subscribe.